breakfast. And the reason is that right now it's 10 o'clock and the next time I'll be eating is at 3 o'clock and then 5 o'clock for my pre-workout meal. So I want to get in a nice thousand-ish calories for this one and then crack on with a lot of work for the rest of the morning and the early afternoon. So, here's how I keep myself accountable to the things that I say I'm going to do. It's a simple to-do list and it's a weekly and monthly planner. Now, if you haven't heard of Andy Frisella, go and listen to his podcast about the power list. He said five things that you're going to do no matter what. And this keeps me accountable to the highest level possible because... As I mentioned in my last video, nobody's going to keep you accountable but yourself. And you say these things you're going to do and you don't follow through and you're constantly stacking those L's and the more you stack, obviously, the less actions you're going to take. This is an absolutely fantastic concept. I'll blur that out, but essentially you could probably see the colors and you rate the day whether you took a W or you took an L that day. The key concept is five daily tasks that you're going to do no matter what. Now today, my tasks consist of 45 minute cardio, leg workout, an outside walk, following up with leads that I have through looms. So I'm gonna go out at about four o'clock, send out these looms to these people. I had to do some campaigns this morning for one of the clients. Then I went and did this outside walk, had some breakfast, uh, did some more campaigns for a different client. Then I read, and now I'm working on my personal brand, which this is part of it. Like I said, I'm going to follow up with the leads, and then I've got a VSL work, and I've got a pre-workout meal, and go and hit this leg session with a friend, as well as the cardio. Okay, so right now it is five o'clock. All I've done for the day is literally worked on the laptop, and I did some VSL with funnel, obviously, which is a, a video sales letter funnel for the agency. And then I also worked on some personal branding stuff, uh, mapped out the sort of things that I want to be covering on my personal YouTube channel and my personal brand as a whole on socials. And then I recorded two videos for YouTube, which were probably going to be out and about. So keep an eye out for them, I guess. Um, but now it is time for the pre-workout meal and the gym session, which I'll record, show you guys, take you through the brutal leg day that I have. And most of the times I do not finish because it's that fucking brutal. Let's jump straight into the pre-workout meal and then into the workout. This is why I don't vlog. Because look at this shit. I just completely missed the ball. Like, <sighs> anyway, I've not cleaned this up, but here is the pre-workout. Rice cakes, two rice cakes, uh, honey, some fruit, some frozen fruit that I warmed up in the microwave, and some Greek yogurt. And now I'm also going to have two more of these with some peanut butter and salt. Now, if you don't know this meal, get to know this meal, guys. I'm talking like Bebo, but... Oh, worst thing about this meal. Shit snaps on you. Couldn't find any cinnamon, so here is the pre-workout without cinnamon. But if you put cinnamon on this, fucking brilliant. That was 
was an absolutely nightmare of a session and shut it off very quickly. Hot stopped after literally two exercises when I did 15 minutes of cardio instead of 30 and came home and I'm very, very upset with myself. But it's the reality of losing weight and running a business, sometimes even the gym doesn't allow you to to escape from all of this and it's uh, it's the difficult thing to weigh up all the time but on here I'm showing my reality and being honest with everybody so it is what it is um, we'll just crack on with it tomorrow and don't let it get to us that's all